respectable ladies in this house. There's some respectable ladies in this house. It's been a couple of days since the WAP music video came out, and I know a lot of y'all have seen it, uh, praised it, beat your meat to it, rubbed the clitoral area to it. I know a lot of y'all went crazy watching the music video, and I tweeted yesterday saying that this was one of the best cultural statements of the 2020s. This was gonna be the most important song of our generation, and I and I tweeted that as a joke. I, I didn't mean it, I, I listened to the song, uh, after I tweeted it. I didn't even listen to it when I tweeted I just lied. I just lied to you. This is not me making a public statement to say that I dislike the song, right? This is just me now saying that I dislike this. <laughs> Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B have released a song called WAP, and we all know what that means, right? Let's ask our expert analyst Ben Shapiro for his take. With some wet ass P word, P word is female genitalia. That's right, Justin, Phil, Ben she Shapiro so is big. not dicking down his wife properly. Before going further into the song, I wanna let you know that I'm a big fan of Meg Thee Stallion, right? Her solo work to me is one of the best in mainstream hip hop in my opinion. Uh, Cardi B, I'm not as big of a fan of, but I still have enjoyed some of her work. If I have to be honest, I actually would prefer Cardi B and that SZA song off her Invasion of Privacy album over this record right here. I know y'all want to immediately get into what the song does and is it important in general. I think the moment that the song created and how much it is empowering women is a much stronger statement than anything actually said in the record itself. I think the beat for this song is very bare bones. I think the beat is very laid back and it gives a lot of emphasis to their verses and what they're saying. It's just for a guy like me and for a lot of people out there, I'm just not interested. So I know the first thing that people are gonna respond with, patriarchy. Personally, I don't think that disliking this song uh, makes you uh, complicit in the oppression of women. And it isn't because I prefer the sexual experience told from the perspective of a male, because in all honesty, I don't think people acknowledge enough how little uh, male sexual escapades play a part in his overall rap persona. Never have I listened to a song made from a male MC or a male rapper that was from start to finish about his big ass dick. And I'm sure there are songs out there that exist like that, I just have never liked them. Oftentimes when a man utilizes his uh, sexual experiences in a song, it's for a brief moment in a song that's totally about either something else or a song that's so general that this little topic that he may have mentioned takes up such a small portion of the song that you really probably didn't even remember that he said it. And that's the problem I'm assuming that women have with rap music and hip hop music in, in general is just how they're used as props and trophies and tools just to get a rapper through a song. Meanwhile, if they drop a song or a record that's about that same experience that the rapper might use as a prop, they're scrutinized as if they're supposed to be the next role model for young women, as if they're supposed to be the next Susan B. Anthony. Sex being such a big part of all of our lives, uh, having those experiences be taken and then used for a very small portion of a song, as if that is the essence of your worth in the perception of rap music from the male-dominated perspective, would probably make you feel away, I understand that. That being said, I think one of the worst things that you can do is come out with music that references yourself in that way and expect it to be appealing to anyone in the landscape outside of people that don't wanna just see a role reversal. Do I think it's extremely important for women to have a say in how they are portrayed in the mainstream? Of course, and I think a song like this, along with the traction, the buzz like this, maybe empowers women to do something like that. But I still have a hard time trying to figure out why this song ended up being as popular as it was. Because not only is the song, in my opinion, not that catchy, I have so many more examples of songs in that dirty rap genre that have been far more catchy. Like 17 years ago, my friends and I were singing along to my neck, my back lick, my female genitalia, and my crack. Like, we were singing, young boys were singing this song. Not because we thought, oh, only women can identify with this. It was because it was a catchy song. I was in love with Trina when I was growing up. And these things, unfortunately, didn't happen because I cared so deeply about the female perspective. It was because they were putting out good music to me. Not only is the song, to me, not as good as those types of artists' music that exist in that dirty rap scene, it's nowhere near as raunchy as I feel people are giving it the credit of being raunchy for. Like, it's definitely explicit, but like, I could never picture myself in the situation and a woman who I've been with, who's had some wet ass pussy, look back at me and say, yeah, boy, you like this wet ass pussy. Like, no woman has ever looked back at me and said that. It's one of those goes without saying things. You can tell by the groans and the moans that you both agree that this is some wop, but no one ever says it. Music video. 
the music video to me was actually really tame. Sure, Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B have some great bodies and there's nothing wrong with flaunting them in their prime. I just looked at it and I was like, why are men willing to pull out the shmeet? The whole time I'm watching the music video, I'm just looking at Cardi B like, yo, where's culture? I'm looking at Meg Thee Stallion like, yo, how's your foot? Like, I'm not even making a joke. I'm genuinely concerned. In all honesty, I thought their breasts looked amazing in that video. And I'm not even a breast man like that, but I thought those looked great. But outside of that, I just thought they both looked good in the music video, and I didn't have this fantasy about either one of them. So it made the point of the video, in my opinion, fall a little bit shorter because I thought that was one of the bigger focuses of it, really honing in on and emphasizing their sexuality and how powerful it is and how hypnotizing it can be. That and it took me even further out of the trance when Kylie Jenner showed up walking down the hallway for absolutely no reason. I generally think using your sexuality as the basis for the enjoyability or the power in a song is a bit of a slippery slope because for the most part in my personal experience when i listen to rap music it's never the focal point of why i listen to an artist the appeal of meg the stallion for me is her southern charm it has very little to do with her body it has very little to do with her sexuality it just She's charming. She's got a swagger about her and a demeanor that's so cool that you just can't help but want to hear what she's got to say. But I've never listened to her because the primary focus of her essence was wet ass. <laughs> but if she wanted to market herself like that, if she wanted to say that this is what I've got, this is how I feel about it, that's fine. It's just in a day and age like this where people are so sensitive to uh, how women are portrayed, which I think is a good thing, works more toward the point of exploitation more than appreciation. And I think that's a great thing, that women can benefit from their bodies and from their sexuality more than the men who may have talked about it in their records. Put it like this, would I like to see a black owner at the head of 300 Entertainment instead of Lee or Cohen? Yes. Why? Because at least a black person would be profiting off of the exploitation of majority black artists as opposed to some white guy. I feel the same way about Meg Thee Stallion as it pertains to this song and Cardi B as it pertains to owning their sexuality. That, in my opinion, does not change the fact that it's still exploitation more than it is appreciation. At least in my opinion. I think what the song is being looked at as and what it's being represented as is so much further away from what the song actually is. What I'm trying to get at is that these songs that are made from their perspectives don't need to exist in some righteous way to prove some point or to go against any narrative or to make any stands. I think the point here is that music that is from these people can exist and be fine and be okay and not have to have any point or grand idea behind it. And I'm not trying to use this song, this this wet ass pussy, I'm not trying to use this for like female empowerment just to justify why it exists, to justify why it was made. It exists, it's out there, and you should be okay with that. And that mainly goes to people that feel the need to suppress the song or feel the need to uh, talk about why it's so harmful to young women and younger demographics when children probably shouldn't be listening to it in the first place. The song being made is fine. The song existing is fine. People attaching these narratives to it to justify its existence or why it was made is a bit of the problem for me. And people feeling this inherent need to support the song, love the song, really in my opinion it's nowhere near vulgar enough for it to have received the buzz that it's received. I feel the discourse around the song has made it much more popular than it would have been had people just taken the song at face value. Which I feel is the point of what this type of music should exist for, to be normalized to a point where we don't need to have a discussion or a massive talk about every one that comes out. Meg's knees weren't even strong enough to hold this one up, you know? And, and that was just disappointing for me. And I asked myself a quick question before I even recorded the video, like, am I ever gonna listen to the song again? And am I likely to watch the music video again? Nah.